hi everyone uh it's it's hot it's hot today um the midnight sun is this week's episode uh and it's about a strange end of the world where the the earth starts moving out of its elliptical orbit and into a spiral towards the sun essentially making everything whew, very very warm um this was shot on a soundstage uh, with no AC in the summer. And for some of the shots, they even turned the heating on to make it look even hotter. That's just a sort of torture, uh, uh, I guess. Um, this woman, I, I, I was reminded of The Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price um, when she goes off to the store and there's no people, well, there's no clerks there. She just goes off essentially looting. And she does it in high heels, right? Just, you know, form over style, at least, you know, style over substance. I guess, you know, looting in high heels is a bit extreme. Whew. Uh, so, the thermometer reads 110, 120, at 110, that's 43.3 degrees uh, centigrade, uh, you would die, uh, if, if it remained that way and you couldn't find shade or, or you weren't, um, submerged in water or something. It would kill you. Okay. Um, it would kill you. Uh, the, the protein in your blood would actually coagulate sort of like a boiled egg and you would die. Uh, that happens at around 43. So when it reaches 120 degrees centigrade Fahrenheit, then you're quite literally toast. I wouldn't recommend it. So the windowsill uh, burns uh, burns her hand, right? But then uh, Mrs. Bronson, she can touch the window and not be burned. So that's a bit of an inconsistency. I found that a bit weird. And uh, then there used to be there used to be two more characters in this in this um, story. No cat. Uh, there used to be two more characters in the story: a refrigerator repairman and a policeman. Uh, but they were written out. They were running over budget, and they just cut the the parts. Um, but uh, it happens sometimes. I don't think the episode is any worse for it, to be honest. They have melting paintings, which is pretty awesome effect. Uh, apparently, they did it by by making them out of uh, wax paint and then putting them against a hot plate so that the the colors would run. Uh, it looks really cool, though. I wonder what it would look like in color. Uh, and finally, the, the end of the episode is, of course, a twist where the Earth is spinning away from the sun, uh, making it colder instead of warmer. Now, I don't see why moving us closer to the sun would make it daylight all the time, or how moving us away would make it dark all the time. But I do know that if we were moving uh, towards the sun, we would all die. It's just, we, we died, right? Uh, if we move away, we might actually have a fairly decent shot. Not all of us, but those living in, you know, Iceland would do fine. Uh, the Azores would do fine. Um, anywhere where there are thermal vents, um, volcanically heated water coming out of the earth, you could just stay there. You, they generate enough heat for you to last another generation or so. Uh, you can't grow any food, obviously, and, and stuff like that, but, but you wouldn't die instantly like you would if we were moving towards the sun. That would just kill us. Um, the light makes, of course, for a more stark reminder of the condition outside. Um, no one pulls the shades of the windows, either to preserve heat or to keep it cool. Bit strange. Uh, next week is the Still Valley, which is uh, Civil War and the Occult and... Whew, I hope to see you then. Bye.